Hi kids, thanks for reading the Bible with me and my friends. Let's pray. God, give me ears to hear and help my heart to understand. In Jesus' name, amen. Enjoy the show. I really do not need to write to you about this help for God's people. I know that you want to help. I have been bragging about this to the people of Macedonia, telling them that you in southern Greece have been ready to give since last year, and your desire to give have made most of them ready to give also. But I am sending the brothers to you so that our bragging about you will not be empty words. I want you to be ready, just as I said you would be. If any of the people from Macedonia come with me and find that you are not ready, we will be ashamed that we were so sure of you, and you will be ashamed too. So I thought I should ask these brothers to go before we do. They will finish getting in order the generous gift you promised, so it will be ready when we come. And it will be a generous gift, not one that you did not want to give. Remember this, the person who plants a little will have a small harvest, but the person who plants a lot will have a big harvest. Each of you should give as you have decided in your heart to give. You should not be sad when you give. You should not give because you feel forced to give. God loves the person who gives happily, and God can give you many more blessings than you need. Then you will always have plenty of everything, enough to give to every good work. It is written in the scriptures, He gives freely to the poor. The things He does are right and will continue forever. God is the one who gives the seed to the farmer and bread for food. He will give you all the seed you need to make it grow so there will be a grand harvest from your goodness. He will make you rich in every way so that you can give freely. And your giving through us will cause many to give thanks to God. This service you do not only helps the needs of God's people, it also brings many more thanks to God. It is a proof of your faith. Many people will praise God because you obey the good news of Christ, the gospel you say you believe, and because you freely share with them and others. And when they pray, they will wish they could be with you because of the grace that God has given you. Thanks be to God for his gift that is too wonderful for words. Would you like to give Jesus your heart? Pray this prayer with me. God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I believe he died and rose again. Please forgive me of all my sins. Jesus, come in my heart. Make it clean and make it new. Help me to live a life that's pleasing to you. Help me to always be willing to share and give to others. So all the glory goes to you because you're worthy of all the glory and honor and praise. I love you, Jesus. Amen. If you love this episode, like our channel, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you next time. Thanks for watching the show.